Hello guys. Good, good day to everyone. Yes. So um, today we shall be dealing uh, with the preparation for Father's Day and we have selected this first project of ours the shirt and necktie which can be converted into a card it may be in a gift box okay if you want to uh, put your gift in a paper bag you may um, use this design okay which will will be in our next project okay for now we have this gift card um, done to you two ways there are two ways to do the shirt and two ways to do the necktie and this is what I'll show you and um, we shall be having a, a sale of this um, you see you may in the uh, on, on the third week on the third Sunday of June each year um, we celebrate Father's Day some like uh, 111 countries around the world do celebrate um, Father's Day and um, aside from that we also have uh, the Father's Day known as a day of honoring fatherhood and parental parental bonds as well as the influence of fathers in the society now we also have um, like um, our uncles our grand uh, grandpas yes granddads yes and whatever name we call our fathers it depends on which country we're in and uh, which culture we are in as well now it's always on the third Sunday of June like Mother's Day okay which is celebrated on the second day of the month of May now um, this is actually a project um, for kids but for moms too and this can be a gift tag as well okay so let's see uh -huh. let's see what uh, how uh, how can we start with this project and there are many ways in uh, YouTube by which we can uh, prepare gift items but we shall since there is just like how many days from now before we reach the third week of June Father's Day for this year we shall be like uh, taking things in stride okay now we are out uh, uh, yeah, as you see the size of this is smaller than this one and you will know later why okay you will know later why and uh, because uh, as I told you we have two ways to two ways to do our shirts and two ways to do our necktie so you see um, at the end of the video we shall be announcing the uh, sale that will be preparing if you want to order like uh, 10 pieces like 10 you if you how many uncles do you have how many nephews who are dads how many cousins who are dads aside from your own dad and your granddad who is a dad okay you may like avail of our um, sale like uh, you may request uh, I'll give you the option Riyadh essence those who are in Riyadh only because we may deliver 10 assorted shirts if you if you can if you want to order um, the bigger shirt for like all yellow it's up to you just uh, state in your order which color which design um, do you want to, you would like to have your orders placed now um, for example we have stamps like this and you prefer to have this design placed on all the neckties it's up to you as well we have different designs we have the chick the tulip yes the dates tree there we have the crown here 
and we have the star here and we have uh, also those non glittery uh, non glittery cutouts like uh, flowers like this flower okay and also which color you may uh, indicate or mention in your order so 10 of these assorted shirts with tie you may get it for like 10 reals um, 10 reals only plus we're gonna place um, delivery it depends on your location in the Riyadh so it's like just uh, ranging from two reals to five and seven reals for the uh, delivery charge okay so one box or one set of ten will be yours okay assorted um, colors of this we also have different designs of paper played and everything you may request as well but they go on higher prices because uh, we, they are we shall be using uh, for that matter um, designer paper okay so let's go let's start okay so here we go design number one for our t-shirt let's take for instance this uh, yellow A4 size okay for this yellow A4 size we're gonna I'll fold it half lengthwise okay, and have like 11 by uh, 8 and a half by 11 and you have to, it's time you make a fold, you have to reinforce your crease. Okay, reinforce your folds. Okay, and then fold it one more time. Yes, right towards the middle or the center of the A4 size of paper. Okay, so you may use your fingers to reinforce the crease or a crease enhancer. And another one from this side. Okay, this design number one. Okay, this first design of the shirt is really easy. It's way too easy. There you go. And let's see. All we have to do here is take three-fourths from the top and use our three-fourth of an inch sharp pencil here to mark it there and on the other end also three-fourths to mark our top which will stand as the color of our shirt okay we shall be only like drawing lines on both sides okay and write a little bit a short one towards or through the center and we shall fold this um, tip towards the center you may do it like this or like that but for this matter for this case we're gonna crease until the end where we put our pencil mark okay so did everyone see that okay so let's see okay. here you go yes let's continue and now it's our time to like um cut this outside part where we drew our line until towards the crease which will mark our which will mark our um, color now I'm gonna erase this because um, I really don't want to see marks pencil marks in my projects so we're gonna 
do it this way and we're gonna remove those excess okay let's see how we can use a cutter to do this to do the cutting and we may use like a scissors or a pair of scissors just so okay just like so and we are we are done with this part be sure that it's like a flat and cut like all along now you see to avoid to avoid the see now this part that keeps on uh, that will keep on uh, you know standing we don't like standing colors for this matter we just want to see them laid flat okay so we use a double side pick uh, tape a double sided tape to of course snap our color and make sure that they won't yes just stand right there anytime they want to and let's see the effect but be sure you won't touch the crease we've made earlier okay to mark the lining or the shoulders there you go all right so now we're gonna stick them together to make sure that it will just say just like so now on the other end this is the first um this is the first um way to cut our shirt so i just want you to know okay that we have here like let's cut four inches away i just want you to know that this is one easy way this is the easier uh, way to like uh, have our t-shirt or shirt that matter okay let's fold towards the center before we do the other fold so it will be just be balanced okay. see the reason why i did that is to have a um, an equal distance from the side to okay. there you go to the other end There you go. See? Now, we made this crease for this purpose and just to easily have our shirt done. Here. So this is the longer shirt. And I'm going to show you the difference uh, between this longer shirt and the shorter one. How did it become shorter? Okay, so now for this matter, yes, we're gonna put like, um, uh, you see, we need, um, it's your choice, yes? Okay, we're gonna have like uh, a place for us to write on send a message to your dad granddad uncle nephew cousin okay so all you have to do is like make this fold okay why are we doing this fold so that we have a place where we could write on a neat one where we could try it on and for that purpose we're gonna use a design shears or scissors okay to give us this uh, this edgy design now this will just come easily because the scissors is designed red just like so okay so let's have it let's do it let's try to see what is the effect so here this is how i do it 
you know this edge should go to the edge of the paper just a little bit of an allowance if you want to and when you make the first cut be sure that you align them when you do the second the continuation okay. so here we go and same thing here Okay, I make it thicker because uh, you know the adjustment so that the paper will be like you will see you will have um, a border yes you will see the yellow border just like this okay and we'll continue cutting the other side of the paper okay I guess we're doing the right thing here and let's go on yes so there you go yes i i hope i'm still within the uh, the angles and uh, just like so just like that uh-huh So for this matter, I made one fold, and I was able to make two two sheets to write on, and I'm gonna use this one first here, so that there will be a place for me. Okay, you may use your uh, double-sided tape if you want to. You may also use your glue, Elmer's glue, or whichever glue you want to use here I'm gonna use this oh stick strong and fast yes glue hey this brand goes like handy to me because even if I'm doing even if I'm doing like other paper um, artwork like my beads, my paper beads. This is so useful to me. It really uh, like help, helps me a lot. Okay, so that's it. And this is where I'll do my writing. Okay, and on the other side, we'll just do the same. I think I overdid it. Yes, so we have the chance to move it. A little bit higher okay here let's go a little bit higher yes and go push 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 to the top yes there we go and on the other side of course we're gonna set the same um, glue for this matter and there you go. So now we have a space to write on. You may write there the, your long message, dear dad, happy Father's Day, or happy birthday, dear granddad, or dear uncle, you've been so nice to me, I miss you, or your nephew or cousin, and voila, we have our shirt who would know what's inside right now you may do your designs on this side like here the pipings the color even okay I have here like pearl and blue like I just I may just do put um, links here here just like that here okay but it's too like the uh, volume the uh, of the pearl is like it's huge huge really huge so uh, let's try to look for um, another you know small size uh, sequence or like a, a small shiny bead okay made of glass and that's it we can have our more yeah, I think I found one from one of my collections and it's, I guess, right 
somewhere here. There, okay. One of my collections. Okay, so for now, let's set this aside. This is the first design. And let's go. See? And the second design is a shorter one. You see this size? Why is it so? Now let's try to have our like red shirt. Do you want a red shirt for your dad or a blue shirt? I think you'd like to have a blue shirt for your dad. Sure. Okay. So let's cover this up because we'll be using it a longer way. Yes. Now um, for our um, here second design okay I said that we'll be having a shorter one because we'll be folding up the uh, one end you know um, higher than how we did in our first design so let's see Okay, let's see. So again, we'll have our uh, three fourths here. This is right there. Let's try to quickly figure this out. Where our three fourths is, and just like put the markings where we could do the cutting. Yes and in the center as well okay so we now have this first the fold towards the center and on the other side as well mm -hmm. which we can do faster this time okay. and now for our color there you go towards the Freeze. Yes, just like earlier, we shall be removing, we may remove the markings, we may use the eraser in our pencil, and I do have eraser in my pencil, but you know, I'm saving my pencil erasers for the time that I only have a pencil in my pencil case. Okay, so I use pencil eraser. So, here again, we're going to cut this extra, extra thing here. Yes, to make it, um, you know, easier, looser. And we'll have a nicer view of our color. See? Let's see. Let's see how we do it. There you go. We may use a cutter. Since we have a cutting pad. Okay. And on the other side, we shall do the same. Right there. You see that one? You can say goodbye to that. And say, Are you ready to say bye bye? Bye bye. Okay. And of course, just like, like what we did earlier. We made use of our here double sided tape. There you go. Yes, and we're done with this task. Okay, and another one on the other side. There you go. Just don't touch this grease down here. See that? This crease down here. Now just in case we didn't hit the right line, we may just go back and, you know, do the cutting of the extra, extra, extra paper, the excess ones. Okay. 
la key on the other side so we on the other side we do not have all the excess now here this will become shorter I mentioned earlier why because this part we have to fold first like this just like so this design is good if you have uh, one design on one side of the paper and a different one on the other side of the paper we have our designer designers paper um, where this 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 design will be uh, may be used okay so there you go so we fold it that way from center to the side center to the side and we fold it right there you will know why because at this point and on this point we're gonna have it as our reference to get another fold there you go see it's coming nice and easy to show you so as you may see we're forming like a uh, an arena box here like when we watch WWE okay in this case uh, since we have a bigger space where we could put our glue on so I use this glue again to stick this side together so it won't be like popping up and down up and down same thing on the other side here okay when you get used to it you'll get know how to do it and where to do it and when to do it and how to do it okay. so we have this here ready now on this side okay on this side this is the beauty of this art yeah you 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 won't know what the result is okay you can't even guess so just put this down here down there and you know what happens when we flip this over bingo you'll get the front side of your shirt you may put buttons here small buttons sequence pearls it's up to you okay and you see the fold of the uh, sleeves okay so let's do it and uh, I guess this is longer Okay, remember the second part which we used to cut. Okay, let's put a mark first. Let's put first put a mark, a crease where okay. I just want to show you how short it has become because of the fold we did. Okay. So there you go. And for this matter, we have to make our writing paper I guess shorter you see it has to go like perhaps here on this fold below this fold yes so if we have it here Okay, let's do it. Ah, sorry, we need the scissors that has designs on it. Here you go. That's it. And let's say goodbye to our yes paper. And let's try this green thing on blue you may use white yellow it's up to you okay it depends on you okay. if you want to close this part here because it's still open remember or you may just leave it open and put something in it later like a growing flower 
or what it's up to you and may want to write your happy father's day happy birthday happy graduation uncle something like this to my dear cousin yes so let's do it so for this matter we're gonna use this glue again instead of the double-sided tape that's it okay soon we're done and this is the second design of our card and now we can I thought of just like putting it inside Cover this up so it won't dry up. Let's go. There you go. You may use any design if you want. You may use you may um, add flowers linings or you know different lines. Yes, if I. Um, We'll have time. I'm gonna put some red dots around or hearts. You see, so it depends on your how your imagination will, you know, come into your senses. Yes, this is how we work. Okay, so there we go. Now let's work on the uh, two kinds of two ways to do our necktie. And the two ways I mentioned this like okay. here you may use this green yes we may use this green and cut this is like um Four and a half, four four point twenty five by four point twenty five, and let's see. We may even use our ruler to reinforce our crease, but it's sharp because it's made of steel. It's better to use the other one I was using earlier. Okay, okay the first design is here we have this for for point twenty five by four point twenty five and we're just gonna make a mark here to make a crease on the center point where we can see where our point and point should go This is the first design of our necktie. We're going to, I'm going to show you two ways to do our necktie. And it's up to you to choose which one to you is preferable, which one is like better for your birthday card for your dad. Yes. Okay, let's go. So we have it here. There you go. This is the first one, and this comes easy. Easier than the second one. There you go. So when you see this, it will be like the the I uh, you know the lower part is seen here already. Yeah? Okay. So when we have this longer one here, for this longer one. Okay. 
and we're going to have it thick, just like this. And in here, so that because of the folds, we already have like gone now. to it and another fold of course towards the center okay here you go and we have our necktie let's push this in this manner So that we're gonna have a six hexagonal on the top. All right, so we are gonna use. We'll be needing the use of our double-sided tape for this matter. And here, here you go. Let's try to cut it from here and. Using our double-sided tape, we'll come. We'll be able to calm down our necktie from behind. Okay, there you go. So which one? We'll get the longer side. We're gonna see the middle part up there to the crease down below, down there, yes, and you may have the option of putting a pocket here, a small pocket, or, or leave it, and maybe you may have the, you may want to design down there, a cufflinks, a button, a pearl, or um, whatever, or another design, like uh, you're going to draw diagonal lines there. Or we may have our, uh, I have flower cutouts here, but it's like off with the color, you see? Yes, so it doesn't go well enough. So let's try to use our blinking, our glittering, yes, star. And that's it. This is the longer side and one way to make our tie. First design. And now for the second design, okay, we have here. Oh, this is long. Let's try it. With the, this is a smaller one. Which color do you suggest? I have here yellow. Okay. So let's try to have it like three and a half by three and a half. Three? Maybe, maybe three is okay. Try to remove this crease, these edges. Okay. So from here, let's have three and a half. Yes. We'll say three. Three and a half is long, so let's make it three inches.
There you go. Let's see. So we have our easy square here. Three by three. Okay. Yes, I uh, hope we'll get it. Oh, okay, just right enough. So let's see. From here, it's a different fold we'll be making. We'll be making this. Okay, there you go. There you go. And another pull towards the center to do it like there. And from here, okay, turn yourself back from the fold. This is the fold. You're gonna have to fold this like, like you see this line, okay, up to this point. All right, so uh, we're gonna fold it one more time here and fold it like uh, one fourth from the top. You see, and turn it back, show the folded, you know, paper in front of you, and let's start folding towards the center. See, and this may be adjusted to like forming a straight fold there. There you go. Why so? Why is it so? To be able to form this one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we need another line here to form our hexagon. Okay. as we can there you go there's our fold and again we'll try to form the sixth line of our hexagon and bingo we have our yes small cute little tie over there to go with the center our central Creases. Okay, and now let's call on super double sided tape here. That's it. Bye for the day. And let's try to come down our necktie from behind. Okay, there you go. And put it just right there, center to center, from top to bottom, okay? And there you go. That's it. Thank you so much for... Uh, you may put glitters as well. You may use glitters. Sprinkle this with glitters or, you know, your correction paper. That's it. And if you want to put, yes, this glittery, glittery, or just a, a ribbon type there. This is funny for a dad or a cousin. Okay, I have another design here. This is a date tree, but the color is off, doesn't match the color. Oh, it does match. Okay. You want to put, um, like, yes, just hands, orange hands, purple hands there. Yeah, it's okay. Let's try. Now for your orders, mention the design. Mention the cutout, 
mention the color of the paper, longer or shorter, design one, two, one or two for the shirt, one or two for the tie. Okay. Alright, so let's go. And see you on our next project for Father's Day celebration. Thank you for tuning in. And if there's anything you want to ask, alright, you may do so in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit the, the thumbs up button and in your comment leave any question you might want to have especially if you're ordering again i repeat 10 pieces of this goes like 10 reals for riyadh the cents that's it cents of riyadh and uh, like it depends on the distance from the city center so you'll have a delivery charge of two reals five or seven for the transportation okay so that's it and thank you very much for tuning in and if you really like um, our video appreciate it you may like hit the subscribe button down there and once you hit the subscribe button you may see that there are three options given to you and these options include the all all bell that means when you click the all bell you'll be notified of our, uh, all our uploads thank you so much and we're looking forward to a wonderful father's day celebration oh as mentioned earlier this doesn't go only during um, father's day it also can go on birthdays graduations appreciation day for your male teachers okay and so many occasions where you can use this in our next upload we'll just preview a little bit of how we can use this in our paper bags where we can put in our gift items to go along with our next presentation yes that would be all for today and thank you so much for tuning in again anything in the comment uh, comment box and we, 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 we would love to hear from you, of course. Bye.